This new Huawei AI chip has NVIDIA on edge. A silent giant just roared NVIDIA has long ruled the AI chip world. From powering ChatGPT to enabling self-driving cars and smart factories, NVIDIA's GPUs are the backbone of modern artificial intelligence. But in 2025, a new challenger has emerged from a place many in Silicon Valley weren't expecting. Huawei's Ascend 91C, a chip powerful enough to rival NVIDIA's H100, has arrived. And it's not just about raw specs, it's about sovereignty, geopolitics, and the future of who controls AI. In this video, we'll explore what makes the Ascend 91C such a threat, why NVIDIA should be worried, and how this battle between two giants could reshape the future of global tech. Let's dive into a competition far bigger than chips, one that could redraw the global balance of power. 1. The new challenger, Huawei's Ascend 91C. Huawei has just unveiled its most advanced AI chip to date, the Ascend 91C. According to early reports, it's designed to compete directly with NVIDIA's H100, the gold standard for training large language models and running deep neural networks. What's different this time? Huawei isn't just catching up, they're claiming parity, and not just in theory, but in practice, with major Chinese tech companies like ByteDance and Baidu already running real-world tests at scale. Unlike past efforts, this chip is built entirely within China's domestic ecosystem, relying on homegrown engineering and manufacturing, a direct response to geopolitical pressure. If those tests prove successful, this isn't just a new chip, it's a statement of intent. China can build world-class AI hardware, even under the pressure of global sanctions and supply chain restrictions. 2. NVIDIA's grip on AI until now for years, NVIDIA has owned the AI market. Its H100 GPU, built on the Hopper architecture, is the engine behind everything from ChatGPT to Tesla's FSD. It delivers industry-leading compute power, memory bandwidth, and efficiency, making it the first choice for anyone building cutting-edge AI. And because of its dominance, NVIDIA has become a $2 trillion company, a core supplier to governments, startups, and big tech and the symbol of Western AI leadership. Its technology powers nearly every major AI breakthrough, from model training to inference, with unmatched developer support and software integration. But Huawei's Ascend 910C could change that, especially in China, where NVIDIA's full-strength chips are banned, creating a power vacuum that Huawei is ready to fill. 3. The geopolitical context, sanctions, supply chains, and strategy. This isn't just a tech rivalry. Since 2019, the U.S. government has imposed severe sanctions on Huawei, blocking access to key technologies, software, and even chip-making tools. The goal? To limit China's ability to develop advanced AI and 5G infrastructure. NVIDIA, trying to stay in the Chinese market, released scaled-down versions of its chips like the H800 and H20 which comply with U.S. export controls but offer reduced performance. Meanwhile, Huawei doubled down on self-reliance, investing billions into its semiconductor division and working with Chinese suppliers to create homegrown alternatives. The result? A chip that may challenge NVIDIA inside a market the U.S. is trying to restrict. 4. Head-to-head -head. Ascend 91C vs NVIDIA H100 So how do these chips actually compare? Huawei's Ascend 91C is optimized for training AI models and processing massive datasets, the same workloads that NVIDIA dominates. According to early benchmarks, performance is close to the H100. For many core AI tasks, power efficiency is reportedly competitive Chinese firms like ByteDance, Baidu, and others are already testing deployment at scale. And here's the kicker. The Ascend 910C is not subject to U.S. export controls. That gives it an edge in Chinese data centers, research labs, and commercial deployments, all of which are exploding in demand for AI compute. If Huawei delivers on its claims, this could be the first serious NVIDIA competitor built entirely outside Western supply chains. 5. Market Disruption NVIDIA's China risk just got bigger. China is one of the largest AI markets in the world. And until now, NVIDIA dominated it, even with export restrictions in place. But that dominance relied on the idea that no Chinese alternative could match NVIDIA's performance. The Ascend 910C breaks that illusion. With ByteDance, BYD, and others considering adoption, we may soon see a massive shift in market share, reduced reliance on American chips, and lower costs for AI deployment in China. 
This doesn't just hurt NVIDIA's bottom line, it accelerates China's goal of technological self-sufficiency, a central pillar of its national strategy. The bigger picture, AI chips as tools of global power. Why does this matter so much? Because AI chips aren't just about data centers or smartphones, they're infrastructure for global power. They enable military simulations, surveillance systems, satellite coordination, energy grid, optimization, predictive policing, and next-gen autonomous weapon systems. In short, who controls AI hardware controls the future. That's why the US is trying to restrict NVIDIA's exports, and why China is racing to build its own capabilities. The Ascend 91C isn't just a chip, it's a national security asset. 7. Huawei's challenges, it's not over yet, but Huawei isn't celebrating yet. Despite the impressive debut, the company faces serious challenges. U.S. sanctions still limit access to top-tier lithography machines. Chinese foundries are improving, but still behind TSMC and Samsung production scale is limited, making large rollouts difficult. Geopolitical tension could deter global buyers from adopting Huawei chips. In other words, Huawei has built a powerful chip, but building millions of them consistently and reliably is a different battle. Any delays, shortages, or political crackdowns could stall momentum and give NVIDIA time to respond with faster, cheaper, next-gen chips. 8. Strategic Timing Why this moment matters Why is the Ascend 910C launch so important right now? Because it's happening at a critical inflection point. Global AI demand is exploding. GPU shortages are straining the entire industry. China is investing aggressively in AI infrastructure. Western chip makers are facing export barriers. Huawei's chip arrives just as everyone is looking for more compute, and just as NVIDIA is being forced to limit supply to its second largest market. It's a perfect storm, and Huawei just walked right into the center of it. 9. The Ripple Effect Global tech just got a wake-up call. This isn't just a China vs. US story. The rise of Huawei's chip sends a message to the entire global tech ecosystem. Monopolies in AI hardware are not permanent. National investment can challenge global dominance. Open innovation matters less than strategic control. It also opens the door for more state-backed chip makers to emerge. New alliances outside the US-led semiconductor supply chain, faster fragmentation of global technology standards. The ripple effects could be felt in Europe, Southeast Asia, India, and Latin America, all of which are seeking AI independence. 10. What this means for the future of AI. At the heart of this story is a simple truth. AI is the future, and hardware decides who gets to lead. With the Ascend 91C, Huawei is signaling that they won't be left behind, sanctions or not. And with NVIDIA's dominance under pressure, we may see a future where AI compute becomes multipolar, not monopolized. That could lead to more innovation from new players, lower costs through global competition, and greater risk as AI capabilities become harder to regulate. It's not just about chips, it's about who gets to shape the intelligence that shapes the world. A new tech war has begun. This isn't just another chip launch, it's a warning shot that the age of American dominance in AI hardware might be coming to an end. Huawei's Ascend 91C is far from a guaranteed winner, but it proves one thing, the race is real and the gap is closing. The next few years will determine who builds the future of AI and who just watches it happen. What do you think? Is Huawei's chip a serious threat to NVIDIA or just political posturing? Let us know in the comments. And if you found this breakdown insightful, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Because we're bringing you the real stories behind the future of technology every single week. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.